you know, I thought it was another good competitive day. Um, you know, tried to, you know, coming off the scrimmage, uh, tried to push some install, you know, put, put a good amount in on both sides of the ball, uh, trying to, to test the, the minds and, you know, with the old, the improvements that need to be made coming off of Saturday, um, you know, while still adding, you know, new concepts or, or things that we're looking at, um, you know, both sides of the ball. I thought I thought today was a, a, a mental test for them. Uh, I thought the guys came out and I thought they worked with good energy. Um, you know, there was we had some had a, some spirited moments in practice, which um, you know, making sure that we're just con controlling uh, controlling our emotions in, in the best way. Uh, you know, in the in the heat of the moment. But um, you know, our, our guys, I mean, they're competing hard and they're competing, you know, with each other. Um, you know, I think it's it's there's been good swings throughout practices of uh, both sides of the ball, you know, having success. And, and then, you know, uh, there's times that, you know, it's there's the, there's just good plays that are being made. And uh, you know, I like I like the playmakers that are showing up. You know, I think we've got a lot of competition. Um, you know, I like the the way our springs, you know, unfolding now here, you know, seven practices in basically at the halfway point. As you look back and graded Saturday, anything stand out that maybe you talk about on Saturday? No, I mean it was. Uh, I mean it was a good first scrimmage. It really was. I mean there was, you know, explosive plays up both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, some things like like I told you afterwards with, with penalties and some fundamental things. Um, you know, there were there were not a whole lot of focus penalties, which, you, you know, the, the self inflicted. I mean there were some technique things that we have to get better at hand placement. Um, you know, some new guys that you know in the first time just to, you. Know, Continue to, to emphasize that, but I thought, I mean, I thought it was good. I thought, uh, um, you know, everybody, you know, both sides of the ball had, had good moments. You know, defense, you know, they're, they're a, uh, I mean, it's a good group. And I mean, it's, you know, the defensive front is, you know, provides some, uh, uh, you know, good job in, in trying to, uh, you know, condense space and, and obviously with what they're doing and, and uh, you know, guys are playing fast. And then you know, I thought there was still time that the offense were able to have some explosive runs, some big plays over, you know, over the top. Um, so, I mean, it was a, it, it was, I thought it was a really good first scrimmage, especially after going back and watching it. Coming off the scrimmage, did you sense more energy for practice today? Or, or I mean, was it kind well, of no, I mean, I thought, I thought guys came and approached the work. I mean, it was, um, you know, good meetings yesterday. You know, challenged them again today for, you know, where are you going from, from here? And, you know, it's, it, it's, we got to have 15 days of getting better. You know, every time that we step on this field, it's got to be better than the last time. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, um, I have not felt, you know, a guys pulling back. I mean, it's, you know, it's competitive. It's physical. You know, guys are pushing. I mean, I, I like I like the work that we got got today and uh, you know, the energy which you guys brought. Is there a certain level of consistency with this bunch, and what is that a credit to? Is it mostly experience and guys that understand the experience? I mean, I, I think the work. I mean, there's de you know, definitely a consistency in that, and that's what you want because, you know. You know, every every player is going to have. I mean, it's our job to make them uncomfortable and to to force them to to push themselves to another level. And um, whether it's schematically, whether it's positions that they're playing, like it, we're always going to try to have that edge. Uh, these guys, the way that they they approach the work, I mean, I respect. And um, you know, it's it's a daily grind, and you know, making sure that we're, we're better, more fundamental. Um, you know, that we're taking our game to, to being the best that it can be, but I, I think the work has been consistent. Was, was, was this Tate's – you go ahead. Okay, thanks. Was this Tate's best day? You don't want to go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think this was Tate's best day or one of his best days? No, I thought so. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I thought all three quarterbacks, you know, that went Saturday, I mean, had really good moments. And, um, you know, but I, th I think, you know, as you see as you see the growth, I mean, they're, they're – I mean, they're putting it together, and I thought today, you know, Tate really had a had a good day, and you know, I'll be able to go back and watch all of it. You know, sometimes when you're rolling, you know, four quarterbacks, you know, that's uh, you know, just the sequencing of it. Uh, but you know, he's he's confident in what we're asking him to do. I mean, he's very talented, and uh, you know, it's just you know that um, you know, trusting his eyes, trusting his feet, and then you know, being able to go, uh, you know, make the plays when the opportunity are there. And you know, you know sometimes. You know, the best play is a throwaway, or it's a you know, you know, you know killing a ball or somebody uh, you know get immediate pressure. Just some some of those next level thinking um, you know, in reactions. And I think that's where he's he's really growing. I know had kind of a unique freshman season, not getting the bits of game action a lot of the freshman guys. How do you see him handle that? And I guess where is he at now, kind of entering his first full off season? Uh, you know, I uh, it was it was good. Um, you know, to see him, you know, out working and uh, you know continuing to, to work and push to to get better. Um, you know, we've been we've been coming along in his in his growth and development. Uh, but 
you know, he's got a, he's got an opportunity to, to come out and compete every day, and that's that's what he needs to take advantage of. So you know, we'll see we'll see where that continues to, to go. But you know, please some of the things that he's done, um, you know, as he's growing up, just to uh, to put himself in a position to, to get out here and compete. Do you like some of the not not when it goes too far, but just when guys are getting feisty? Do you like a little bit of that? The skirmish, a like bit, yeah. a little edge, a little, a little bit. It's uh, you know, we got one team and one family, and you know, I uh, I know with family members at times, you know, especially as you constantly are competing with each other. I mean, there's some sometimes you get it's a little feisty, and so there was some feisty feistiness, I guess. Is that a, is that even real? To, okay, well, we'll go with that. Um, but I want respect, and you know, ultimately, like that's where. You know, guys being in control of themselves in a situation, um, you know, absolutely. Because, and that's where I try to create it. I mean, I, I came in today with a few guys that I was, I mean, my purpose was to see if I could get them, you know, kind of out of their element for a period of time. And, you know, some of them I succeeded. And, but I, but it's about the follow up too. Because, I, number one thing I want for these guys is for them to always be in control of them. And, you know, you, you think about this world and just all the things. Yes, the football is one, you know, with the momentum swings and all of that, right? But, but so much beyond just a football field where that is critical put to success. And, you know, trying to – if you don't bring the intensity to get to that point, you, you, you don't know what's going to show up, you know, when you, when you feel it in, in real life, in game time, in those situations. So, uh, you know, we try to create it, and it's, it's good to see. Um, but – it's always it's about that control and the respect of you know that we have for each other. There was a moment in the three on three type blocking drills where Jaheim and Jared went up against each other. I don't know if you're down on that. I was. That. That's one of my favorite drills. What, and what what does those, what do those kind of drills and with those kind of players maybe talking before the snap, talking after the snap? What does that do for just the competition level? Uh, it's it's huge, and uh, you know that's I mean I'm really proud of Jaheim how he's transitioned in, and um, you know you can watch and see his explosiveness as a you know, route runner and you know, what he does with the ball in the hand, all those things. But he is just now starting to realize the power that he can have in the run game. And, you know, Jared, I, I think seven practices in, you know, one of the things I'm most proud of him with is like you see, you're you seeing the technique improve. You're seeing the more consistency in the fundamentals. Um, you know, he's embraced that. And so when you find two big, powerful, explosive guys that are going against each other and, and working against each, and bringing that mindset to it, it's fun to – it's fun to coach, and so uh, yeah, I thought I, it was it was good, and uh, we got a lot of guys that uh, I think are bringing that type of mentality. Derek McClendon having a transfer portal, and can you kind of maybe characterize the, the gap between his his wants and your expectations from him? No, I mean, I wish wish him all the best, and um, you know, there's you know, you know choices to be made, and you know, as as we go through you know college athletics, I mean, it's. Um, it was definitely a, a new age, but um, you know, Derek was did, did a lot of good things for this program, and uh, you know he's he's going to leave as a graduate, so I'm very very pr proud of him for that, and uh, you know he's going to you know explore you know, situations that might be the best fit for him. Um, you know we're going to be very competitive here. We're going to have you know we got a lot of a lot of great great players that um, you know are, are going to push daily, and you know Derek's Derek did did all of that, you know, to be able to play for us and to be able to do the things that are necessary. And I wish him all the best and wherever he ends up, uh, you'll hear at his next stop.